Let's go diving. Diver heading down. Tonight we are searching for a bizarre species of shark that can actually walk with its fins and has earned the name Walking Shark. Our goal tonight is to dive down around 45 feet, locate a shark in the coral, and film it walking, which I have to say is likely going to be much easier said than done. These predators have actually been known to walk across shallow tide pools while hunting. It's even said that they might prefer to walk than swim, but due to their evasive behavior, they can be extremely difficult to film. Our air supply is limited to 60 minutes. Let's get searching. Right now, we are diving in the middle of the Coral Triangle near the islands of Raja in Indonesia. These islands are world famous for their coral reefs and its truly bizarre marine creatures. To find a walking shark, we will be searching these reefs, making sure to check all of its caves and sandy surroundings, which happen to be the walking shark's preferred habitat. We'll start by searching the seafloor in front of us for areas that have good hiding spots. We're diving at night because that is when these sharks are most active. And there's our first spot. That is a shovel-nosed lobster. And despite being bug-like and alien looking in appearance, they're actually related to the more usual spiny lobsters. Super cool find for our first spot of the night. One of the challenges with night dives is that you can only see as far as your light will allow. It is truly pitch black on either side of me, so unless we hit the shark directly with our dive lights, we can miss it entirely, even if it's just a few feet away. So to help us out, I'm diving tonight with some experienced divers that know this environment well and can point us in the right direction. I will definitely rely on their help and guidance to find our walking shark. slender fish, those are a couple of giant pipefish. Almost like ghosts coming out of the shadows. Very cool. They almost look like they're just floating along. That right there is a spiny lobster related to the shovel nose lobster we just saw, but look at the colorations on that one. That is truly a unique creature. And it's tucked into the reef very similarly to how we would see a walking shark. It almost looks like a mantis shrimp the way it has all those pinks and greens. Okay, let's keep searching. All right, we have about 50% of our tank left. We gotta speed up our search. All right, we're getting the signal. There's something up there. This could be it. This could be our walking shark. Let's get a little bit closer. Yes, there it is. That is the walking shark. What a cool creature. All right, it's tucking itself back into the reef. They definitely are invasive. Let's try to work our way around and get another angle so we can get an even clearer shot. 
Oh man, it seems like we're playing a game of hide and seek here. I almost had it, but it tucked right back in. We're gonna have to keep trying. I can see that it's actually walking on the seafloor. It's pretty unique. And even though these fish can possibly swim, they are almost always observed walking on their feet. Gosh, it's getting a little disorienting, working our way around in circles here, in and out of these coral caverns. There it is, you can see its face, but it's still tucked in a little too deep for a good angle. Let's just position, there it is, got it. And that walking movement is possible through an evolutionary adaptation with their pectoral and pelvic fins that allows them to move along the bottom. And even though they can swim on the coral just fine, we have to be careful to not bump the coral on tonight's dive. It is very fragile and I weigh a lot more than a walking shark. Get a good look at the face. See if I can reposition. Okay, I see where you're going. We're gonna move around this coral head and we're gonna get our shot. Here we go. All right, looks like it's coming down and there we have it. That is the walking shark and the shot we are after. Look at those beautiful colors and patterns. It almost shimmers and reflects against the dive lights. Look at that eye. You can see it almost has like a cat eye. While it definitely is a shark, this is about as unique of an observation as you can have, seeing a shark actually walk with its fins. And there it goes. All right, I'll let it continue its evening walk. What a cool find out here in Raja in Indonesia. This is Mark Vins, the Aquanaut, over and out.